Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome to episode two. Recording is the Galaxy episode two. Under pressure. I'm like a day behind. All this stuff is kind of on my time. Very time consuming. Fun. Time consuming. So. You have something I desire. The Eternity Forge. What is your problem, Quill? We just killed the biggest bad guy in the universe, and you can't even let me enjoy it for one second? I keep thinking about Nebula. Imagine how she's gonna react when she finds out we killed Thanos. Like you said, she's your sister. Trust me, family's worth fighting for. Maybe you're right. Thanos eradicated my people, destroyed my planet. Now that you have killed him, the Eternity Forge will be our salvation. You have his body? <laughs> I can't believe it. We'll dispatch some officers to your location. The galaxy owes you a debt it can never repay. I'll bet. I will not rest until we have conquered every star system in the galaxy. Starting with you. A lot of hurt. Yet. No! What no, is no, this no, dark no. sorcery? Back, foul demon! Uh... I am Whoa! Brute. Hey! This is not normal! Get behind me! I will protect you from this monstrosity! Hey, easy on the Milano, okay? She's been through enough, don't you think? I'm sorry, I panicked. How are you? Yeah, so, uh, I guess I was dead, and now uh, apparently I'm not. This is impossible. Impossible is one thing. This, <laughs> this is freaky. How do we know you are really Peter Quill? Prove it to me. What do you expect him to do? If he is really Peter Quill, he will know. Oh, come on. Who else could master these sick? Moves. Stop 
Stop doing that with your pelvis. What? This? Mm, that is most disturbing. Okay. Great. Everybody calm now? Huh? We cool? No! I am Groot. He's right. The dead don't just come back. There's gotta be a catch. I mean, this is insane. You see that, don't okay, you? Okay, Rocket, just... Everything comes at a cost. Do you think I'll get superpowers? Heat vision? Invisibility? Ooh, maybe I'll be able to pass through walls. If that's the case, then we're all doomed. You don't want to take this seriously, then fine. What was that? It's Hala. She's caught up to us. Everyone upstairs, we gotta move. I already died once today. I really don't want to try it again. <laughs> yep. That's good. Amazing. Everyone, hold on. Things are gonna get a little bumpy. Yeah, that'll help. Peter, you just died. Are you sure you're okay? We can fix all this stuff. Thanks. I'm not really. Says he's gonna puke again. <laughs> I think we lost her. This hollow lady's relentless. Why she want this eternity thing so bad? Her ship was full of dead Kree. Thousands of them preserved in stasis pods. Uh, okay. Uh, now I might puke. Save it for when we land, buddy. She could create an unlimited army of Kree soldiers. If this relic falls into Hala's hands, that's bad news. For everybody. Agreed. Although I would relish in killing her. And bringing her back to life. And then killing her again. Yep. And then bringing her back to life. And then killing her again. And then bringing her back to life. And we get it, Drax. Uh, destroy her. That would be a fair fight. One I would not lose. You know, I'm all for people having opinions, but sometimes Drax shouldn't be allowed to speak. Huh? Yes, Groot. Now is one of those times. And we can't risk her getting a hold of this relic. The galaxy stay parted for like five friggin' minutes? I mean, come on! No matter how far we run, Hollow will not stop hunting us. Milano can't take much more of this, Pete. I barely got her up and running after your last so-called landing. If we don't find some place to lay low and fix our ship... Yeah, I'm on it. Look, I just need her to hold together for a little longer, Rocket. I might know someone who can help us out. Here's a the pump door. Where are we? I don't like being out in the open with Hala on our trail. Let me do the talking. Will? If you're here, trouble ain't far behind. My ship's busted, man. And you're the only guy who can fix it. Just 
Open the door already, Yondu. We don't have time to wait around all night. Well, you better come on in then before someone sees you. Make what? yourself right at home. Oh! I thought it was just you, Quill. Not all your little playmates. Oh. Hey, hey! No plants on the roof. These guys are my family, Yondu. Great. Okay. Quick introductions then. This is Gamora. Say now. Nice to meet you. Put that away, or I'll cut it off. That's Groot. Drax, say hi. These are terrible. What do you think you're doing? That's my food. Mine! A warrior must eat. And last but not least, Rocket. R Rocket! I don't trust Ravagers, Quill. They'll shoot you in the back the first moment they get. Well, I don't trust animals that can talk. Want to hear me talk? Okay. I'm going to blow your friggin' head off. How's that for talking? Yondu! Put that arrow back in your pants, man! Look, Rocket's just a little sensitive, because everyone's been trying to kill us lately. Well, you can add me to the list. <laughs> oh, that's oh, that's just... His face! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I've been buying black market trinkets off this little freak for years. And I've been gladly accepting this idiot's money. You got anything new for me? Oh, we got some. But it ain't for sale. Well, ain't she a beaut? Fit it right in with my collection. Could clear some space. One can never have too many trinkets and little doodads. I know how much you like shiny stuff, but that one, it's mine. And calm yourself, Quill. I'm just having a look. I'm right, gonna touch the stone. Nobody touches the stone. Beautiful. Sometimes it takes stepping back from your problems to see how small they actually are. These last few months haven't been easy. For either of us. But, um... I'm not always gonna be here. I worry about you. You're growing up so fast. Uh... Why am I here again? I, I already saw this. Maybe you didn't see all of it. You're meant for more than this life, Peter. I know you are. You're gonna save the galaxy. You're gonna kill Thanos. And change everything. Stop it! Stop messing with my head! I wish I could. But there's no other way. I'm trying to help you. Hmm. Every time I look up there... I find something new. Something I overlooked. Come sit by me, baby. Hmm? You can see the stars even better from over here. Peter, please. Just for a little bit. No. I'm cool right here. Suit yourself. So, what am I supposed to be looking at? The stars. I know they don't look like much. That's, uh, that's Gemini, right? The twins? Yep. You used to say they were dancing together. Yeah. I thought it was you and, and Dad. You have one active imagination, Peter.
think that one is Canis Major? It's shaped like a dog. That's right. You wanted a pup so badly when you were younger. But you never had one. Too much money. Closest thing you were ever gonna get was that constellation. You used to wish that dog sweet dreams every single night. That's Orion. No doubt about it. It is indeed. First constellation you ever learned. That looks like the Eternity Forge. Sure does. Look closer. That writing, it wasn't there before. What, what does it say? <laughs> Mom? This gonna find me, Peter. Guys, I don't think they can hear us. Did you just see what I saw? It's been decades since I've seen your mama's face. Now that was a special treat, Peter. Something was off about that memory. That wasn't how the night ended. Can't help you. I wasn't there the first time. What just happened? I saw my mom. You heard her, right? She wants me to find her. Wait, look. Wait. I've seen glyphs like that before. It's ancient Cree. Stop eating already! God, I can't hear myself think. Ugh, God, why does everything have to be Cree? You did find it in a Cree temple. Details. Nah. I don't think it's a coincidence, though. Thanos was after something. An object with these same markings. Let me see that. Nebula and I stole it for him. I don't know what it does, but my sister may have been able to learn something from it. If we can find Nebula, Maybe she can help us translate this. Yeah, right before she cuts off all our heads and takes the forge for herself. And who do you think's the first guy she's gonna use it on? Counterpoint? You worry too much. We have to figure this out before Hala does. Are you hearing yourself? Every story you tell us about that robo-chick ends with somebody getting eviscerated. And that is something I'd like to avoid for the foreseeable future. You know, ever since I was a kid, I've wanted to fight a cyborg. I <laughs> mean, guess dreams do come true. Sorry to crush your dreams, but we might not have to fight her. Oh, you're no fun. I tried to get in contact with Nebula not long ago. She won't be hard to track down. Better let me have a look at your ship, then. I may have something to fix that lying around. Move your foot. I am Groot. Somebody get this tree away from me. Enough with the snacks! Could you be any more useless right now? What's up, man? Is everything okay? Look, I'm no good at this, so I'm just gonna do it fast. I know we don't know a ton about the relic, but the one thing we do know is that it brought you back to life. Don't tell me you ain't thought about how you can use that power. Honestly, I, I haven't given it much thought. Well, I have. You don't know a lot about me. But before I met you guys, there was someone. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic, I can make her ungone. 
I just... I have to try. We gotta go to half people. I know going after Nebula is the logical move here. I get it. We gotta find out why this thing's affecting me. But this favor... I gotta ask. I ain't told anybody about this before. This person means that much to you. We'll go. Really? Thanks. I mean it. Help me out with this, boy! Your friend over here keeps dropping it on my foot! I mean, this is supposed to be his episode, right? So let's invest time in the rocket raccoon. Let's get going. That'll do it. Have that little furball of yours give her a good rev to warm up the engines. Should be right to go. Where are we going, Star Lord? We got a little detour to make. Right, Quill? Rocket has some business to take care of on Half World. We don't have time for a detour. We've got more urgent problems to deal with right now. Peter, there's something you need to see. Hey, you promised. We're going. I found Nebula. She's taken Thanos' ship. She's heading to a remote Nova Corps outpost. Peter, she's going after Thanos' body. And we're supposed to care because... If I know my sister, she'll kill anyone who gets in her way. And once she has Thanos, if she goes off the grid again, I can't guarantee I'll be able to find her. I made a promise to Rocket. They're just gonna have to wait. Forget your promise. We need her to help us translate the Eternity Forge. Nebula isn't going to just wait for us to intercept her. Look, a promise is a promise. Pete and I are going to have one. Intercepting Nebula is more important. You don't get to say what's more important. When it's a matter of civilian lives, yes I do. We're going to half world. Thanks, buddy. I owe you one. Peter, but Nebula... Good luck translating the forge without my sister. I'll probably just beat us up and try to steal it. Ain't nobody got time for that. something in the engine room to fix this. You want to talk, I'll be down there. Misfits, and what do you get? Slobs. Peter, that's what you get. You said it'll be down here. Hey, 
big rocket. Hi, Quill. I'll leave you alone. Later, Quill. Back again? Yep. Thanks for the talk. Uh huh. They ain't gonna let us get no information out of him. Wait, wait. Shouldn't these parts be in the ship or something? Next time you better have a drink on you. Noted. Thanks for the talk. Uh huh. How's my favorite tree? I am Groot. You think Rocket's gonna be okay? I'm worried about him. I am Groot. Well, this has been a lively and fascinating conversation. I am Groot. Hi, Groot. I am Groot. One of these days, you and I are going to be able to have a conversation. I am Groot. There's not he a looks forward to it. to speak Groot class I can take, is there? I am Groot. Well, I'm going to, uh, go. Now. I am Groot. I have a feeling it's going to be the most interesting conversation out of this entire game. Hey, Drax. You doing all right? When Thanos was alive, I was a warrior with a singular purpose. But now, I am useless. The others have made that very obvious to me. Maybe I should have seen it sooner. I was ordered to stay here, while you and Gamora fought Hala. Oh, don't say that. I still want you around, Drax. Thank you, Quill. I hope I do not squander your companionship. Clearly my skills, they are no longer as helpful as I had hoped. You should try talking to the others. You now maybe they can teach you something new, help you find a, a new purpose. Who would you suggest? <sighs> I don't know. I do not think any of them would want to. Go talk to Gamora. She'll teach you to focus. And she's no stranger to the whole changing your purpose abruptly thing. Yes. His focus would be good. I will speak with her. I should get going. Star-Lord. You still seem troubled by the visions of your mother. I am here to comfort you about such matters. Unless you do not wish to speak of it. I just don't know what they mean. I want to find out, more than anything. If I had visions of my family, there is little I would not do to discover the truth. Thanks for checking in on me, Drax. We are friends. I believe that is what friends do. You got that right.
Novacor. This is the Guardians of the Galaxy. You need to secure Thanos' body and prepare your crew for an attack. His daughter Nebula is heading your way. Uh, <laughs> is that you, Star-Lord? Oh, okay, of course. Right away. Thank you so much for the warning, sir. I just, uh, it, it means a lot. Okay. I'm hanging up now. Collector's Museum, the Collector is out at... Star-Lord? Huh. So you heard of me. Yes. Unfortunately, the collection is open only for exclusive Astatine Society members. Please, clear the line. Go more or wherever the hell she may be. Another place I can think of, and that's the adjacent one. might have been our only chance to catch Nebula, and I... She could be gone by the time we find her, and then... I don't know what happens then. I'm sorry, I, I, I really don't want to talk about it. Coast looks clear. Funny how alien all my earth junk starts to look after a while. Touch that. I gave you this shit. Or at least I think it did. Can barely recognize it now. Look at all this crap you added to it. Heads up, everyone. We're going to Half World. Stay out of trouble. I may not be so. Accommodate next time. And take care of the Milano. She's a ship, not a trash can. It's always fun seeing you, Yandu. It has been a pleasure. Don't overdo it now. Bye, Gamon. Paula has found us. This is what we call great timing.
What is this place? <laughs> Home. I haven't been back here since... Rocket, I need you to tell me what we're doing here. Who are you trying to resurrect? Lila. Come on. Rocket, let me... Let me help you. Don't touch her! Subject seems to be responding well to the program. Vital signs are good. Still no rejection of the artificial vertebrae or neural implants. The only one who wasn't a total failure. Everything rests on you. You okay? I heard you screaming in there. These walls aren't exactly soundproof. Oh, great. Just wonderful. Nothing like getting random bits of metal shoved under your skin. If I'd known you liked it so much, I'd have let you take my turn. So, did you get it? You mean this? <laughs> Wait, it's the right one, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Once that computer's finished, we can finally break out of here. Advanced security. Supposedly unhackable blast doors. Piece of cake, right? You sound worried. Hey, you can do this. Just stick to the plan. It's gonna work. Worrying keeps me alive. And the ones who don't worry, they don't seem to make it back into this room. Yeah, I guess you're right. You gotta be ready for whatever comes next. Catch! Nice. You're making this look way too easy. Power source. Designed by yours truly. Okay. Moment of truth. Go ahead and hook it up to the underside. Ah! <sighs> Stupid piece of junk. You know your ear twitches when you're frustrated, right? It's cute. Cut me some slack here. Trying my best. Come on, Rocket. You know I'm only teasing. Why do you keep doing that with your face? It's called smiling. You should try it sometime. Happy? Now, all I need is a display, and we're in business. Network. I keep 
having that dream. Still? I'm outside again, in the fresh air somewhere. It's warm, right? Can't hear a thing except the river rushing by. It felt so real. I can barely remember. It's been so long. We gotta focus, Lila. We have to get out of here, now. You're right. We have to get these cages open. There should be a hallway just outside that door. From there, we make a break for the main entrance. When I get out, I'm gonna find that place. And I want you to come with me. We'll find the river. I know it's gotta be out there. Will you come with me? Won't be as easy as that. You're gonna come after us. You may have to run. That place might not even exist for all you know. I have to believe it does. It's the only thing that feels like home. Hide it, quick! Subject 89P14. Still no progress. Begin prepping lethal injection. Rocket? I can't. I'm not letting him do anything to you. You understand? Rocket? I... Lila! Lila! Gotta move. We're so close. You have to make it, Rocket. There you are. Yeah. Kill them. I'll create a distraction. Buy you time to get out. I can still cause a little chaos before it kicks in for good. I might as well try to take a few of them down with me, right? You go, Rocket. They'll be sorry for what they did to us. No, no, you're not dying. I won't let this happen. Please, don't make this any worse than it has to be. Survive, Rocket.
わけね It's beautiful, isn't it? I knew it. Lila? No, no, Lila. What just... You had no right to see that. Those are my memories. Not yours. It's not like I did it on purpose, okay? You can't blame me for this. That doesn't make it okay. I never said it did. It didn't even work! How could it not work? Come on. I was worried this might happen. Okay, we don't completely understand this thing. Not really. Yeah, a lot of good that does me now. Just take it. I'm sorry I dragged you out here. Thanks for, you know, going with me. I know you had other things to do. There's still hope, Rocket. We'll find a way to bring her back. I don't want to talk about it. No, 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 no. Come on. Please don't do this. I gotta go. Good. You're back. Looks like Nebula started tearing up the Novacore outpost. Hopefully we can still catch her. Everybody to the bridge. We're going to the Nova Corps outpost to intercept Nebula.
Sir, we'll lose the body. That is not our priority now. Engage Nebula immediately. <sighs> I knew this would happen. We should have come right away. She's already got Thanos' body. We can't lose her, too. Okay, okay, you have a point. Oh, if only you could have seen that earlier, we wouldn't be in this situation. Star-Lord, thank you for coming to our aid. <laughs> well, we were hoping you'd show up a little earlier. But... Hey, what's going on? I warned you that Nebula was on her way. I, I know. We secured the body, like you said, but she snuck in using a stolen ship of ours. We were overwhelmed. She made off with the body, but we can still take her down. The weapons loaded. Lethal force has been sanctioned. Get into position. Ah! No! I'll be damned if I let the Nova Corps blow my sister to Stardust. We need her alive. Otherwise, we've got no chance of translating the Eternity Forge. Ready? On my orders. Hey, uh, whatever your name is. Rooks, sir. You can call me Rooks. If you want. It's kind of a nickname. Not as good as yours, though. Star-Lord. Look, Rooks. We've got this covered. Why don't you leave the cyborg to us? I, uh... <laughs> well, of course, we'll take all the help we can get, sir. But the Nova Corps have a duty to fulfill. It would be an honor to fight alongside you. Fire when ready. Okay. When words don't work, there's always firepower. Yeah, firepower in the first out of his stun guns. Your assisting her will only place you at odds with the Nova Corps. Look, Nebula is important to us. She's got something we need, and we need her alive to save the galaxy. But, sir... You want to see the galaxy destroyed? N n no, sir, I don't. Which is why I have to do this. <sighs> I tried. Officer Rooks, signing off. I hope we can still be friends, and... I think that went well. <laughs> We've got targets on us. On it. That's the last of them. Hold on. Peter Quill, I wasn't expecting you to show your face. Couldn't let the Nova Corps claim your glory. You had to kill me yourself. You brought this upon yourself. So you think. <laughs> you should be thanking me, Nebula. I killed your bully of a dad and kept the Nova Corps off your back. I deserve a medal. How dare you speak that way about my father! <sighs> Would it kill you to handle this alone, Delicately? Fine. Look, we need your help. You have to come with us. I will never help you. Had to make this difficult. Disabling her engines. Oh, come on, field's too dense. I can't get a clear shot. We'll have to force her out.
more. Take the controls. I'm going in to grab Nebula. Watch yourself. She may be incapacitated, but she's still dangerous. Peter, her ship is drifting into the planet's gravity field. You need to hurry. Knock, knock. Go away. I refuse to accept your help or your pity. I'd rather die here. I failed, Father. Again. Leave me here. Oh, my God. Nebula, stop the dramatics. Just come with me, okay? You have no idea what it's like to lose the person who created you. Who gave your life purpose. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Peter? Your sister's being difficult, Gamora. She's throwing herself a real pity party. Oh, there's gotta be an emergency release on here somewhere. Oh. That's the last of it. I don't like knowing Thanos' body is out there somewhere. Oh, one thing at a time. Okay, we have to figure out how this relic works before we start worrying about the dead guy. We're running a scan of her cybernetics, but it's taking some extra time. Just to be safe. We need to get Nebula to help us decipher these symbols. Just watch yourself, Peter. She's not exactly happy to be here. Okay, she's definitely not happy to be here. Good thing she's unarmed. Am I right? <laughs> Rocket may be able to get her arm working again. We could use it as leverage. <laughs> Don't bother. We are going to dismantle this cyborg piece by piece. Fear won't work on someone like Nebula. You'll just rile her up. <laughs> good. Not good. She was trained to slaughter thousands. She may hate you, but she does not fear you. I know you're good at knives, but trust me, you attract more flies with honey. What would you want with flies? That's not the point. Flies are a nuisance. Oh. Okay to go in there? Frankly, no. I'm not okay. I wanted to reconnect with Nebula. You told me to reconnect with her. And then this happens. Maybe she'll come around someday, but I can't see her wanting to reconcile anytime soon. Hey, Nebula. Neb. Can I call you Neb? Uh, oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Do you mind not inviting me? I just want to talk like two civilized people. Can we do that? That's really up to you, isn't it? Thanos wanted this relic. And I know he had you learn how to read these glyphs. That, that's the Eternity Forge. You've heard of it? How did you make those runes appear? I thought it didn't work. I don't know. That's what you're here for. Oh, really? I need you to help me translate them. That's not gonna happen. You think I'd so easily betray my father? 
We are not all so spineless. Okay. What if I sweeten the deal? Look, you help me with this one teensy tiny little thing, and I will let Rocket reattach your arm. I know you have no intention of helping me. She wants to see me suffer. Killing our father wasn't enough for you. You have to rub it in my face, too. He raised you, Gamora. He loved you. That was not love, Nebula. And you let this imbecile murder him! You were the reason he's gone. You're the one who ruined my life. Whoa, this is a happy place. There's no need for that kind of name calling. I mean, really. Imbecile? Oh, sorry I hurt your delicate little feelings. That's enough, Nebula! You pass judgment on me. On my father. But I know you, Gamora. You may have forgotten Tarval, but I haven't. I'm warning you, Never, never speak the name! Tarval, I'll Tarval. get what we need from you, one way or another. You want me to talk? Get rid of her! Don't be ridiculous, Nebula! I have nothing to say to you. I'll make you talk. You know I can. I'd like to see you try. I think Amora's got the right idea, actually. Ah, oh, real mature. You both should watch your backs. Shackles won't keep me tethered for long. And once I'm free, you'll be sorry. You're the one who will be sorry, Nebula. I won't go easy on you again. Leave Gamora alone. I can fight my own battles, Peter. I don't need your help. Oh, poor Star-Lord. Sounds like she doesn't care about you. And you can stop twisting my words, sister. Star-Lord, the scan found something. A strange device in the cyborg's skull. Nebula, I know... I know you hate me. And maybe that will never change. But I have to try. I am trying. One call isn't enough. It's a start, though, isn't it? I can't wait to see your face when you lose everything. When I take what you took from me, you'll have to watch as everyone you care about dies. Then maybe we'll be even. Gamora, put the sword away. You don't want to do this. Yeah, Gamora, listen to... There. We're done here. Oh. Ew. I almost... I told myself I wasn't going to be that person anymore. She just gets under my skin. I can't help it. She's trying to get a rise out of you, Gamora. You can't let her. You try having her as a sister. I see you tried my plan. <sighs> the important thing is we got the, uh, the Kree thingy. So. That is a cipher module. There are not many left in existence. All right. So how does this work? I think I can upload this to my own translator. Okay, it says, come find me in the temple. Helpful. God, did we find it in a temple? My mom said the same thing when I died. But maybe we missed something. We were a little preoccupied at the time. Come find me. Who do you think me is? That temple was completely abandoned when we showed up. It's gotta be whatever is sending me these visions. I hope you're right. Then we can find out why you're having them in the first place. Exactly. Let's get moving. We're going back to the temple. Almost there. I have not seen him emerge. We should give Rocket some space. Okay, 
Let him be for now. Fine. Well, Rocket is in no shape to guard Nebula. Someone's got to stay back and keep an eye on her. I will stay behind to guard the prisoner. Um, hang on. No, you won't. I am not leaving him here with her. You heard him before. He wants to rip her apart. Does this mean you're volunteering, Gamora? Yes. I'll guard her. No! You cannot be seriously considering this. You're the one who told me to reconnect with her. Now that she's here, I deserve that opportunity. And I'll make sure she stays out of trouble. Nebula is my responsibility. Your record on that matter is questionable. Gamora, you should stay behind and keep an eye on Nebula. Maybe it'll give you a chance to talk. Thank you, Peter. You... you side with her again, Peter Quill. Perhaps I truly have no purpose. Let us return to the temple. I will be ready when you are. I am Groot. Hmm. I think Drax is starting to fall into depression. Find me in the temple. Let's go find out who's waiting for us. I forgot how slow this elevator was. I do not like being back in this wretched place. Well, this ain't a field trip, Drax. The markings on the forge said, find me in the temple. So, here we are. In a temple. Again. Hello? Anyone here? Yes, I am here. As is Groot. But I should be guarding Nebula on the ship. We've been over this, Drax. So, why don't we just spread out? Okay, look for secret doors or passages or whatever. I've got my scanner. If anyone's here, we'll find them. Well, these footprints are fresh. Still more footprints. Looks like Thanos' armor. Didn't exactly protect him. Good. It is a comfort to know the Mad Titan was mortal after all. she doing here? Star-Lord! It's Hala! Oh my god! Oh god! Why? I saved you. That was a hologram, you big dope! Look! Whatever they were trying to do, looks like they needed the forge to do it. Score one for the good guys. I am Groot! Hey, how's it going up there? Not now, Pete. Come on, Rockets. Okay, this is gonna sound like I'm hanging up, because I'm hanging up. I'm 
more footprints over here. Well, this is where Thanos found the Eternity Forge. was here too. Her hand is going through the wall? There's something behind here. Hello? Anybody home? Hey, Gamora. How's it going with Nebula? About as well as I expected. She's been pretty quiet so far. Well, that's... good, I guess. Oh, hang on. Quill, I apologize for my outburst on the ship. However, I should have been the one to guard the cyborg instead of Gamora. Gamora has too much of an attachment to her sister. She might let her feelings get in the way. This mission here? is super important, Drax. I needed you by my side. No other place I'd want you to be. I couldn't let you guard Nebula and come on this mission. Can't have your cake and eat it too, you know. You are right. I could not do both. I just wanted to share my thoughts. And I am confident I would be able to eat many cakes. Oh. Let's not forget why we're here. Have you found anyone yet? No, but I've seen fresh footprints in the dust. Yeah, I've seen them too. Let me know if you notice anything else. Let's get back to it. Let's let it be hey, interesting. Group. Have you seen anyone around who seems like they might know what an Eternity Forge is? I am Groot. Oh, something over there I should look at? Well, thanks, Groot. Keep up the good work. Someone's been busy in here. Okay. Let's see what you were doing over here. Where did they go? They went up. Looks like some kind of button. Okay, so much for that. Whatever they're doing, looks like they're doing it at the same time. on this one. Looks like some kind of button. Didn't work. Both must need to be pressed at the same time.
What is it, Quill? You see that bad boy? He does not seem particularly ill-tempered. Look, whatever, fine. Just press the button on his helmet when I say so, okay? You okay? Okay. One, two, three. What happened? You went early. No, I didn't. One, two, three, go. I was waiting for the go. Oh, fine. One, two, three, go. And it's Christmas. Check this out. That definitely looks like the Eternity Forge. And those souls are being absorbed by it. That's why it didn't work for Rocket. It wasn't charged. Uh, he gonna want his family to be revived too. This actually mean anything to you? Hmm. No, but I like the skeletons. Oh, so she was touching the mural when she reached through the wall. You are so smart, Peter. Look at this. Looks familiar. And here is where Hala failed. No Eternity Forge, no prize. Here goes nothing. Oh. What does it say? Hang on. Let's see if Nebula's Cypher was worth all the trouble. The Eternity Forge resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy. Huh. So, this is not the correct temple? We came here for nothing. Hang on a second, there's more. It says... Emnios? The temple we're looking for is on a place called Emnios. The symbols are a star map. <laughs> I know how to get there. Gamora. Peter. Whoever we're looking for isn't here, but we figured out where to find them. Get those engines fired up. We're going for a ride. Um, about that. Rocket's down in the engine room. He's uh, yelling some new and creative curse words. Yeah, you might want to talk to him. Well, you got my attention. <laughs> I don't... I don't... <laughs> Deep breaths, Rocket, okay? <laughs> Trust me, it'll help. Just... 
In. <sighs> out. <sighs> She's gone. She was the only thing keeping me alive. And I couldn't save her. She protected me. And I couldn't... I couldn't help her. You loved her, didn't you? Yeah. I did. I never told her, though. I thought I had time. I thought if I could just get her out of there, she could just see it. This is all I have left of her. This stupid computer. I can't do this without her, Pete. I thought I could, but I can't. I can't. She's always going to be with you, Rocket. You haven't lost her. But it's gone. I can't fix it this time. There's nothing left. I, I still can't. I don't want to give her up. That's all I got. You should hold on to it, Rocket. It means a lot to you. <laughs> What's going on? Get the Eternity Forge, keep it safe. Go help Rocket. What are you gonna do? Oh, that was all inviting you to. Right, there's no air in space. Oops. <sighs> Wait! Let me fight. You trapped me on this piece of junk, and now we're surrounded by pissed off Kree. I don't want to die here, and neither do you. If you keep me here, they'll kill you, your friends, and then they'll come for me too. Let me out. Without me, you're just gonna get us all killed. It's your only option. Let me fight, and those Kree are dead in minutes. Okay, but one move against my crew. Any of them gets hurt, and this little trust exercise is over. Do you understand? I understand. You okay? Trax! Not okay. Hurry! Gamora! I should have guessed Nebula wouldn't pass up the chance to fight. Well, someone on this ship has to keep you all alive. Here! This one's yours. Oh.
Almost like old times, isn't it? <sighs> Never gets any easier. We've got to move. Now! <sighs> Couldn't have said it better myself. And that is the engine room. Rocket! Nebula and I will keep the bridge secure. Just get the power back on. I am Groot. Right. Engine room. Rocket! Ha! You think you could possibly win against the Kree? Now that I've obtained the Eternity Forge for Hala. Ah, oh, stop, dude. Just... Just stop. I really don't care. How dare you speak to me like that? How dare I? You come onto my ship, you bust up my team, and then you go about spouting your evil plan like a bad monster movie? Hold your tongue! Hala will! Hala can kiss my beautiful Earth ass! Mm. Hey, guy! What's it like being on fire? Ah, that bad, huh? <laughs> Stupid. You must think you're clever, Peter Quill, but you can't run forever. The forge will be mine. Do not be foolish. I saw the damage Rocket did to your ship, lady. You're gonna have to dock soon, and you know it. And you can't keep running, either. You will see how wrong you are. <sighs> Peter, you better get the engines running. The Revenant's weapons are coming online. Rocket, I'm on it. Gamora, set a course for Emneos. Drop off our stowaways on the way there. Is everything okay? Whatever you say. <clears throat> you think your mom is really down there? No. I, uh... Whatever's down there, it isn't her. But we need to find out what it is. People you love. You know it in your gut when they're gone. But maybe there's a chance the relic could bring her back. I mean, if you could bring your mom back, what then? You still gonna be doing this? Well, come on, I wouldn't do that to you guys. The Guardians stick together, no matter what. And what, Meredith Quill becomes our new pilot? This is it. So, what now? I'm sure Peter has a plan. You dare have a plan, right? Come on, guys. We're the Guardians of the Galaxy. We don't need plans. Can't argue with that.
realize that he's still in outer space, right? That's the end of episode two. And that was it. Going with the majority decision. They probably be able to repair the computers, so I guess it's a good thing. It just never stopped. We were at each other's throats over it. I am Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot! You ever play that game, Monkey in the Middle? No? Well, here's the thing. There's a bunch of jerks. They stand in a circle. They toss a ball around. And some poor turd in the middle tries to catch the ball. That turd, that's the monkey. And I... <laughs> Man... I was that turd. Ugh, Peter just... He's not the most mature. Sometimes he can be just a huge... Sorry. It drives me crazy. I don't think I was really prepared was for what we found on Emios. Oh, Peter was definitely not prepared. At all. You don't look surprised. Nah, I got my ship back, and that was that. For a while. Worried? Hell, I never been happier in my life. Quill, all of them, they fell into a dark hole. Real dark. Real, real dark. All that ancient stuff we found? Guess what? It wasn't meant to be found. Honestly, why didn't they just bury it? You know, why'd they leave all these clues and crap? Just hide it better. It's so dumb. I mean, Hala, I mean, she might have. Who knows? Then again, maybe she would have stopped if it wasn't for us. I felt like Nebula was coming around. I don't know. Certainly, she was just as angry as she always was. For a little while, I thought it could be just like it was before. Before Tarval. Real, real, real dark. Real, 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 real. And when we finally found her, I... I couldn't make sense of it. None of us could. And what she showed us... Oh yeah, the second it was out of her mouth, I knew. I mean, you get a chance like that. So much power in your hands. What would you do if you had to make that same choice? No one should ever have that much power. Ever. Everybody looking at you? You know the thing about responsibility? It sucks. Like a lot. Real, real, real dark. Dark, man. You know? Still fun, though. That was it. Next episode, apparently something happens to the Nebula. Uh, and guess what? But um, of course, we're always looking forward to the next episode, which will be more than a feeling. Guardian State takes a turn for a strange. For the strange as a mysterious new ally appears, providing more questions than answers. Meanwhile, the more must decide if blood is thicker than metal, 
she is forced to deal with a figure from her past. We can only imagine who that is. I can't think it was Nebula. Somebody else gonna pop up. Maybe they came from Turbo. Who knows? 